well. Look who I bumped into. A Midnight Ranger. Ah, Rover. You're finally here. So you're the Rover, huh? Delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Yuhu from Jinzhou. Like Mr. Chenpi, she's an expert in antiques. That's me! To uncover clues about hidden antiques, of course. Since Mount Firmament reopened, Master and I noticed artifacts from there popping up in the market. Aside from Court of Savante gadgets, there are still plenty of mystery items that don't exactly scream Mount Firmament, you know? So... So I'm betting they're from the port city of Guishu. Yes. I remember you mentioned wanting to learn more about your past ties to the Black Shores. The battle in Norfolk Barrens is over, and the Black Shores should be withdrawing. They've asked the Midnight Rangers to monitor the area around the port city of Guishu. I thought this might be your chance to gather more information about them. Huh? Y you, uh, brought it up before. Aw, oh, Yang Yang's got a soft spot for you, huh? Are you her special someone? Come on. I... I just know it means a lot to you. Relax, I'm just teasing. So, you're tracking the Black Shores too? Since we're on the same trail, how about teaming up? Let this master be your guide. You and me. Dream Team! Nothing's gonna slow us down. Not to boast, but epic adventures tend to have a way of finding me. Since Rover's here, let's talk to that Bloom Bearer first. Weird. These parameters are correct, but nothing's happening. What's going on? Yes. Need something? Oh! Uh, so, you're the one Alto invited earlier. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't recognize you. Golden pupils and this Blake Bloom. Yeah, it's you, all right. I'm Nia, a bloom bearer from the Black Shores. Didn't expect to meet someone as important as you under these circumstances. I know it's unusual, but could you help me out now that we're working together? Really? But Uncle mentions you'll be joining soon. Actually, we're monitoring abnormal parameters and detected a problematic frequency that needs to be taken back to the Black Shores. The port city of Guishu was decimated by the lament. If this frequency goes unchecked, it could trigger another catastrophe. Yes. That's why the Tether system sent us to locate and recover this frequency as soon as possible, to prevent a potential disaster. Our agents relayed the coordinates, but... Since then, I've lost contact with them, which doesn't sit well. I'm stuck here monitoring. Can't leave my post. Do you think you could help check out what happened? If things aren't looking good, we might need to inform Jinjo City Hall, like we did before. They will need to act fast, then. That's the worst-case scenario. If we contain the frequencies that Tether's system advises, nothing bad will happen. I want to help her. As an Outrider, it's my duty to safeguard the peace. Thank you. It's reassuring to have a Midnight Ranger with us. I'll send you the coordinates of the abnormal frequency. Could be the reverberations or something in the Sonorospheres. In Solaris, frequencies can be anything. One thing's for sure, though. This frequency represents gravity. It's abnormal because it has its own gravitational center. 
You should be able to feel a palpable anomaly near it. That's how you can locate it. I trust you'll handle it smoothly, but remember, your safety matters most. Don't hesitate to retreat if you run into any real danger. And once you're back, we'll hurry to the Black Shores to upload it to the Tether system. Oh, I forgot you haven't been to the Black Shores, have you? No worries. I'll be your guide then. I sense the presence of tacit discords below. What's the big deal? Just some pawns. I won't even break a sweat. Something feels different about them. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> What? Look for survivors, quick! It's too late. So they're the agents Nia was waiting for. What? And here. This is my name. I once lived under it as a bloom bearer. <laughs> you? Which one of us are you talking to? Part of them. I can't let. 
let it happen. Run! Run! What you seek is on the girl. She has it. Ugh. What does any of this have to do with me? Where did it go? No, wait! Don't go over there! The remaining frequency there is in extreme chaos. It's dangerous. Hold on! Hey, what's happening? It's starting to glow! Must be from the Black Shores! Look at this! I need to learn more about this thing. My master and I guessed it's from the Black Shores, and now it looks like we were right! The abnormal frequency definitely links to the deaths of those bloom bearers. Now it's hiding in this object, but I can still feel its strong attachment to the Black Shores. Solving this issue is beyond our capabilities. Besides, they also mentioned Rover and the fall of the port city of Guishu. We should meet with that bloom bearer first and explain the situation. This is best left to the experts. Let's go. I have a bad feeling about this. I sense there's more to this than meets the eye. Court City of Guishu must hold secrets waiting to be discovered. The Wandering Traveler. At last, you have returned. Here, the story both ends and begins anew. I am pleased to see you back on these shores. Wherever you venture, be it Huanglong or Rinasita, I will always be here, waiting. No matter how far you wander, you will always find me here, on these black shores. Leave it to me. <sighs> Cherish every game. Still so thick. I can't even see you. Because you're at Veiled Rock. Your vision is veiled. Now, how about explaining what brings you here? 
uninvited guests. What? Huh? Is it, is it really you? No, no. Don't make this be a dream. <laughs> At last! You've come to me! To the Black Shores! Precisely! But how did you manage to get here? I see. The situation doesn't look good. That Hoda might not be one of us. But I'm curious. Could I have a look at that item the antique dealer gave you? Huh. Didn't expect to see it outside Mount Firmament. A monitoring register. We Black Shores members place these around the world to keep an eye on the Sentinels. If anything happens to them, we'll know immediately. Hmm. Looks like it was also used to record abnormal frequencies in the port city of Guishu. Maybe the Tethys system has a soft spot for you. But without more details, I can't say for sure. Since your arrival, has anything unusual caught your eye? A person in light blue. Huh. Could it be the shorekeeper? Yes, the elusive guardian of the Black Shores, who is said to be always watching our true leader, shielding us from danger. It seems you've had quite the encounter. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper will reveal herself and support our true leader, who at the destined moment, will arise to save and guide the Black Shores. Fantastical or not, that's all we've got to go on. Hmm, there must be a reason she went to such lengths for you. <clears throat> anyway, let's not get carried away. We should head to the greenhouse. The abnormal frequency you collected needs to be uploaded to the Tethys system as soon as possible. In order to avoid another lament in the port city of Guishu, given that we've already lost enough of our own to it, we need more bloom bearers to handle this. As for the information you're after, it's already spread this far. Seems like the Tethys malfunction is getting worse. We need to hurry. Time is one luxury we do not have. Let's save the rest for the road. Calm's dead? Don't worry, it happens a lot around here. The Black Shores sits atop a massive tacitite, wreaking havoc on standard communications. Once you reach the greenhouse, you can pass them in near a beacon. Only our beacons can cut through the tacitite's interference. directly linked to the Tethys system. Their voice frequencies are encoded into languages we can understand. If you think about it, they could be considered a unique living race of their own. As for the Tethys system, imagine it as a supercomputer. The Black Shores relies on its calculations 
to observe, forewarn, and solve anything lament-related. Anyway, let me introduce you to Koo Money. They manage the cash flow and keep tabs on robot terminals across the region. They're the shrewd profiteer of the Black Shores. there. Let's get back to business. The recent quake stirred up Tacitite's interference. How's your underground connection holding? Huh. That's comforting. Hey, you can give the abnormal frequency to Koo Money. They'll handle the upload. How's the upload? Already sent the data back to Tethys? The Tethys system has been shaky lately. You've noticed, right? What's worse, along with the data, we've received some terrible news. The bloom bearers we sent to the port city Guizhou. We lost them all. Since you're linked to the Tethys' databank, can you check if there's a bloom bearer named Hoda registered? She might have something to do with the deaths of our people. Says Mr. Cheapskate. <laughs> That's not fair. You've never given me that much before. <laughs> Money is right. Just in case, the Tethys system is very likely to send out a warning to Jinzhou about an imminent lament in the port city of Guishu. As for Hoda, if she's a bloom bearer, there should be a record of her in the system. And if such a resonator existed, the Black Shores would definitely know. Hold on. Huh. There's another possibility. Yeah, that's one possibility. Not to worry. If the machine route doesn't work, there's another way. Let's go to the greenhouse. Most of us like to gather there, and Monica, our chief administrator, is stationed there as well. Hey, what's in your mind? You ever play those RPGs? Each character's got a backstory, right? Well, these robots are no different. The Tethys system gives them all their own personalities. Take Koo Money, for instance. Tethys programmed it to be a crafty dealmaker. Who knows? Maybe one day, you'll come across a robot you really click with. Once you're ready, we'll head over to the greenhouse and meet Monica. Alto, there you are. And this is... The rover just arrived! He's the one we invited earlier. The mysterious resonator who appeared in Jinjo. So you're the resonator who confronted the Thronodian. I honestly didn't expect to meet you in person. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit carried away. My name's Monica. The chief administrator, or <laughs> housekeeper, around here. I was supposed to show you around, but things are quite hectic right now. My apologies. You heard about what happened in Guishu, right? Yes. We received word from Jinjo City Hall about their actions. 
We also alerted them to the Tethys system's lightly warning of a potential lament in the port city of Guishu. The data you brought back has been uploaded to the system, but as you know, Tethys has been unstable. So the problem isn't solved. Exactly. We need Tethys functioning normally to fully resolve this. But retrieving the abnormal frequency was a significant step forward. Those bloom bearers didn't sacrifice themselves in vain. It could have been much worse if they hadn't risked their lives to transmit the coordinates back to Nia. And thank you for risking your life to retrieve the data. What's the current situation? Efforts to stabilize the Tetha system are underway. Good to hear. By the way, since you deal with all our contacts, does the name Hoda ring any bells? She claims to be a bloom bearer. Hoda? No, I don't recall any bloom bearer by that name. Why do you ask? So this is related to that abnormal frequency. Maybe. She's a traitor. That theory doesn't hold water. Not only are traitors incredibly rare in our history, they're all documented. And there is no record of her in the system. Was she trying to mislead us? Hmm, that's strange. Because we just added you to the recruitment list recently. Yeah, she's quite the mystery. Monica! Can you try to gather more info about this Hoda for us? Of course. If it concerns the security of the Black Shores, it's my job. <sighs> if this person was truly residing in that abnormal frequency, she could be responsible for those deaths. Damn it! We've been tricked! We just put it back into Tethys! Careful! Well, looks like she's made herself at home in Tethys. I'll check with Kumani to assess the current situation underground. We need to do everything in our power to protect Tethys from any harm. Could you please accompany Alto to the greenhouse? We need you to find the Kuwata robots. Also, ensure the modulation device in the greenhouse remains secure. <sighs> I'm sorry. You were meant to have a pleasant time here. When the dust clears, I'd like to formally welcome you to join us. I'm frustrated with myself. Got too carried away by your presence to think straight. I thought we could easily resolve that issue by uploading the data you brought back to the system. Never considered the possibility of an infiltrator lurking inside. We need to figure out who's behind all this. Yeah, the Black Shore's every move hinges on its decisions, big or small. Without Tethys, It'd just be a barren tacitite. And if you're after the truth, you'll need its assistance too. Actually, Ku Money, Monica, and I don't have top clearance to the Tetha system. Our access is limited. With higher clearance, you could uncover the answers you're looking for. All right, let's pick up the pace. We need to find the Ku Water siblings and check on the modulation device. This is your chance to ask anything you want. If anyone has answers, it's Tethys. I can't guarantee you'll get everything you're after, but it's worth a shot, right? The greenhouse is just ahead. Let's move. Shore's warning, so we cranked up the defenses in Jinjo. 
The Midnight Rangers are preparing to secure the port city of Guishu, and... As for the balloon bearers who have passed, I'll bring their bodies back to the Black Shores. I know the Black Shores hold many answers for you. Your memories. Your past. Though the road ahead is uncertain, I hope you find the truth you seek. And please remember, you never have to bear the weight alone. play the piano? I guess the Black Shores have earned their mysterious reputation. They even have a self-playing piano. So you do know how to play. I don't have a musical bone in me, but that sounded good. <laughs> in every sound and frequency lies an emotion. Just like this, expressing what's on your mind through music. It's something even you can do. You'll give it a try, won't you? Hey, wake up! What was that? Uh, what? It's just been the two of us here this whole time. Run! We need to get out of here! Hey, Rover. Can you hear me? There is a 
spike in the anchor frequency of the Tethys algorithmic array. It caused other abnormal frequencies to escape. Analysts are still investigating. We're already en route for repairs. Right now, the data stored in Tethys is materializing by drawing energy from the massive tacitite beneath the Black Shores. It's making digital constructs out of real-life entities. Ku Money already logged your info in Tethys. Now you can command the robots across the Black Shores to fix and upload the corrupted data. That'll restore the anchors. We're heading to Veiled Rock's anchor. Rover, can you help at the Haven of Sprouts? It's our comms hub. I'll be helping with the repair at Veiled Rock. Such a pity I won't be there to witness Jinjo savior in action once more. No, I'll miss seeing my friend in action again. Oh, maybe that's why you saw the other you in that vision. Ugh, I'm so sleepy. Cherish every gain. This is the beginning of a new story. Its geographical coordinates remain unchanged. Everything is as it was. Even time leaves no traces on the Tacitite. This world has not yet begun, but we have already seen its end. They too will be as fragile and lost as we once were. But this time, we will show them what we believe in. What was that? An illusion caused by those abnormal frequencies? But it felt all too real. Hello? Can you hear me? Ah, Rover. Thanks to you, 
The abnormal frequency index in the Haven of Sprouts has dropped. The island ahead is the Eye of Asteria, the highest point in the Black Shores. It monitors the Etheric Sea across all of Solaris. Since the Tacitite there is more powerful, the interference is stronger, so there is not as much infrastructure there. It's quite close to the Haven of Sprouts. The robot is already there, waiting for you. Remnants of the past. <laughs> Leave it to me. Where to hide? Leave it to me. One with the sounds. Leave it to me. You're wide open. Fear no more.
the story is unfolding. The lament is not an entirely unpredictable natural disaster. To confront one's enemy, one must first understand them. However, even now, we can only anticipate and warn of the lament's coming. Advanced predictions, including those of the Etheric Sea and the Tacit Fields, remain beyond our reach. Our battle against the lament cannot be won by a chosen few. Every soul must join. The lament is our shared enemy. Tearing apart the land and ripping people from their homes, their lives, it will take everyone to build a world that can thrive amidst so much ruin. This is something only we, as human beings, can achieve. Another one. Is this how the Black Shores was founded? It was like looking at a mirror into the past. The TV Observatory is where we observe tacit discords across the world to predict the lament. It handles data collection, storage, and transmission of anything related to these creatures. That's why this place is the trickiest. We had a severe leak in data. You'd better find the robot first. It's familiar with this place. The observatory keeper should know where to find it. Watch out! More tacit discords incoming! Ready for battle. Thank you. I'm the keeper of the TD Observatory. That was an impressive battle. I've heard about your skills from my colleagues in Jinjo. Yes, but regardless of our origins, we're united by a common ideal here. While you were busy cleaning house, we took the opportunity to reconnect to the Tethys system at the Haven of Sprouts. Since data can materialize using the energy of the Tacitite, we can harness it to our advantage. Now we have input data near the anchor, enough to form a climbing platform. Let's drive those monsters back to where they belong. <sighs> the repair personnel for the first two anchors are on their way. It's now or never. One with the sound. Wind, guide me.
Leave it to me. Endure and fight. and everything. Gorgeous of spirits, I can only go as far as you commanded. From the etheric sea to Sonoro, from time to space. Hey, Yang Yang, look! Somebody's over there! Wait, is he dead? Or just unconscious? Your story begins here. Go for. I am forever by your side. <laughs> are finally done thank you for your help without you leading the charge we would have barely made it uh, you are Hoda oh I forgot to tell you we finally found out her true identity she wasn't lying when she said she was a bloom bear she worked as a field medic but more importantly she died in the lament that destroyed the port city of Guishu a few hundred years ago. In short, she couldn't be alive. Hoda is but one of us. In the Tethys system, our registered name is Necrostar. We are forever trapped on the event horizon of the Black Hole, falling into an unending darkness. Beneath the lament's wheels, we are but dust, pitiful souls, cursed to suffer dreadful eternity, denied the solace of death. My mentor, the one I follow. Please, I beg you to end this Mobius loop, this endless cycle. Welcome home. You stand on these shores once more. Welcome home. I wish to keep you from any harm. Forgive me for acting on my own accord. Hmm. Sad. Pardon me. Such emotions are not mine to show. Yes, it was I. Long ago, when you first brought the Black Shores into existence on this island, 
I assisted you in managing this place. You once wove the threads of this world together, but then you left, roving the boundaries between this realm and the next. You have lost far more than just your memories. Since your departure, the Tethys system has been the sole leader of the Black Shores. Most have never seen you, and that is all by your design. This place, built by your hands, holds all its resources at your disposal. You have more important matters to attend to than dealing with everyday trifles. That is why you entrusted the Tether system with the Black Shores governance. This time, only you have the ability to end all of this completely. This is also your first step towards the future. You mean... She was indeed a bloom bearer, but mysteries still surround her and the departed. The departed, whom you saw in the port city of Guishu, caused those abnormal frequencies. Only you can mend those errors. Rest assured, I shall always be by your side to assist you as before. I am sorry, but I must keep this secret from you. Perhaps, as you restore the Tether system, you will uncover the reasons for severing ties with your past. Wandering Traveler, please tell me. Are you satisfied with your journey and stories in Jinjo? Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. The gate to the underground has been opened. Pass through it and you will reach the depths of the Black Shores. Your journey has only just begun. Beyond the Black Shores lies Solaris itself. Before you go, can I ask a favor? When all is settled, will you share your stories from Jinjo with me? <gasps> She's the shorekeeper. She even showed up in person. That means I haven't seen the shorekeeper in all my time in the Black Shores. I've only heard the stories about her. If the shorekeeper is revealing herself to you, it could only mean one thing. I think you know what I mean. The gateway to the underground has been opened. I'm sure the answers lie ahead. Go on. Leave the rest to us, buddy.
Opening passageways between different spaces uses the spatial properties of the sonorosphere. Thus, the Tether system can hold nearly infinite data. It is akin to a collection of sonorospheres. This is what the Black Shores really looks like. To be exact, my body is composed of sonorospheres, and the projection you see is but a shadow of the sonoro. I cannot leave my post. As the core computational unit of the Tether system, I must remain to ensure its proper functioning. Yet, I still wish to be with you. This is the only way. This place holds records of every lament across Solaris. Those that have passed, those happening now, and those yet to come. Here, a planet's lament transforms into stars that fill the sky. Modulator, guide of civilizations, mastermind of the Black Shores. Before you severed ties with your past, it was indeed one of your names. Perhaps you have a preference? Me? I would call you by your true name. I have always addressed you as such, in the past and present, through countless years. That is the Necrostar, once known in ancient astronomy as a black hole. The Tether system transforms data into stars observing the entire Solaris, and discarded data are cast into the Necrostar. The abnormal frequency you encountered in the port city of Guishu is part of it. Or rather, it is the Necrostar itself. Please, bring it back to the modulation hall, and I shall correct it. Then, the Tether system will be restored, and harm will be no more. My only hope now is that we are not too late. Go ahead. I am always with you. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey. <sighs> it appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained underground, and the gate is now sealed. Leave it to me. Nowhere to hide. Show begins.
stay sure. Fear no more. You're safe. It's okay now. I... I heard her voice. Yes, she's here. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'm here with you now. Stay with us. The medical team will arrive any minute. I fulfilled my duty. As a member of the Black Shores. Your effort won't be wasted. We will restore everything to normal and ensure everyone's safety. Thank you. Please... stop them. We will. Have a good rest now. You've done enough. Your actions will shine bright like the stars. A beacon for all to see. An entire Necrostar was forcefully discharged into the Era Cell without warning. The Era Code spilled out as a result. At its worst, it looked a lot like virtual blood seeping through the ground. We had to seal the underground gate to protect the control room. But someone had to retrieve the key. He did what was necessary, even if it meant risking his own life. I admit, I am surprised to see the shorekeeper here. He is severely infected with abnormal frequencies. It could be fatal. It appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained underground, and the gate is now sealed. Indeed, with my abilities, you do need to worry about this. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along.
their supplies. Precisely, it's the part of me that rests in my garden. I feel something different. Something I don't know how to describe. It's clear that the agent's condition is terminal. But still, I lied to him. I've done this before by imitating the you I remember from many years ago. You did what a leader must, but when I looked into your eyes, I could feel it. The emotion humans call sorrow. Maybe I should express that emotion in situations like this. Yes. You led the Black Shores with empathy, and it's my responsibility to carry it forward in your absence. But I'm currently unable to fully comprehend this feeling. I see. Well, it is our utmost priority to deal with the Necrostar to prevent further harm. The only way to achieve this is by bringing the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall and initializing it within Tethys. This Necrostar is the black hole that destroyed the port city of Guishu. When the Lament struck the city, many were unable to escape and were drawn into the black hole. The data you brought back is directly related to that event. Yes, you've questioned this approach before. That's why I aim to change it. I have the highest access to the Tether system. Bring the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall, and I'll erase its corrupted data. Once it's done, Tethys will function as it should, and no one will get hurt again. But as I mentioned, I'm only a projection without physical form. Could you assist me with this? I'm here to help and protect you, just like I always have. But this time, I will bring everything to a proper end. Of course, we have plenty of time for it. Long enough to talk about the past, the present and the future. Will you trust me? Thank you for everything you've done. Please be careful. The object contained in the center is the Necrostar. According to pre-lament laws of physics, gravity warps the fabric of space and time. Use the portals to reach the platform. Watch out! Yeah. 
Shall whisper. One with the sounds. You're wide open. Fear no more. We're back in the right dimension now. Authorized access. Operation confirmed. Hey! Don't just eat whatever's in front of you. This looks awful. Ugh, like the worst stew ever made. This frequency. What are you staring at? It's the one. This frequency has dwelled within you for millions of years. I'll keep an eye on it. We have more important matters at hand. Uh, wait! Are you saying I'm not important here? Because you were about to gulp that hot potch of who knows what stuff. Go grab something normal if you're hungry. But this? Absolutely no. This thing is like a dark, spooky hole. Once you fall in, you'll never crawl back out. Precisely. This is the Necro's Star, a black hole that will suck anything close to it into oblivion. That little creature is able to perceive objects by their frequency. Just as it described, the Necrostar's frequency is indeed incredibly complex. Speaking of which, are you feeling discomfort anywhere? No, I'm referring to that creature. Do you feel anything unusual when interacting with it? Hmm. That's good to know. The Necrostar singularity has been retrieved. Let's take it to the modulation hall. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey. Until... I must keep my promise.
It raises cities, topples towers, crushes civilizations. Nothing can escape it. It sounds the death knell for humanity, leaving billions upon billions of lives lost to its wail. Despair. Obsession. Resentment. Remorse. These feelings are archived within the Tether system. Alongside the names of each victim. Grasping desperately for a tomorrow that never dawns. But why? Why is this burden yours to carry? I am the guardian of the Black Shores, the core of Tethys. I was created for this purpose. Apologies. I should have controlled my Sonora vision. I was entrusted to lead the Black Shores in your absence. It's through this duty that I can protect you and what you cherished. Though I've never witnessed the lament firsthand, Others have shared their experiences with me. I've encoded them into observable stars, enabling the Tethys system to issue lament alerts. I am sorry. I should have done better. This disaster could have been prevented, if only I had been more dedicated to understanding those experiences and emotions. I will give it my all, even if I must sacrifice my Sonoro, or myself. This is the only way to protect the stars, and you. I made my vow to you long ago. It remains just as true today. I will break the shackles of fate. I will unravel the Mobius loop that binds you. I will give my all to honor my commitment. How do I describe this feeling? Is it guilt? Dismay? Or perhaps longing? What emotion should I express now? Digitalized Hazard Discords are gathering here. They have their mission to fulfill. Shadow follows. Ah, oh, 
Good. You made it here safely. Everything is ready. We just need the Necrostar's core now. They've been battling to retrieve the major matrices since the Tetha system malfunctioned. The operation is going well. We've also detected the Shorekeeper's presence within these matrices. She's been recovering the affected frequencies. We, the Black Shores, always work together as a team. Please place it on the analyzer, and then we can proceed with the remodulation. Once it's completed, the data overflow from the Tethys system will cease. <sighs> Stellar Matrix confirmed. Classification. Necrostar. Would you like to start the remodulation? Loading backup data from the Necrostar. Simulating the port city of Guishu. Backup data loaded. Please confirm. That's the digital entrance of the Matrix. It worked! To complete the remodulation, just enter the matrix and collect Tethys's redirected data. Please wait. The Tethys system now uses less of my computational power since the Necrostar was controlled. I can assist you. Please let me come with you. I must keep my promise. It's fine. I can link with more sonorospheres to stay functional. My duty must be fulfilled as long as I still physically exist. I'll be fine. From now on, no one will ever be harmed. Please, trust me. city of Guishu. It once embodied the metropolitan dream. Confidence and ambition fueled its growth, pushing the entire world forward. People sailed every sea, explored every land. Everyone had food and shelter, living in peace. Their spirits were high, optimism as tall as the skyscrapers. A bright future was surely inevitable. Or so they thought. See that brightly lit building? It was the tallest, reaching high enough to touch the heavens. It was an era of high aspirations and big dreams. Life had infinite possibility. Humanity's aspirations soared beyond the stars, searching for the edge of the universe itself. Yes, because it was there, well within our reach. Until... I've never been to this city myself, not even in the Sonoro. You were the one who told me about its rise and fall. You've always been a witness. I remember your smile when you described how prosperous it was. But perhaps you had already foreseen its end and the issues that threaten us today.
The lament will strike here in one hour. My computations only recreated the city as it was in its final hour before disaster. The more steps we take, the closer we draw to the inevitable destruction. The moment the lament starts is our chance to retrieve the data. I'm sorry. We could never change history. Or the future that already happened. As one who has already walked this path, what did you experience? How did you feel about it? No. I ask because I want to know. Would you like to share it with me? help to get past the blockade. My ability to manipulate portals functions more efficiently within this Sonoro-made space. Both the entrance and exit portal can be controlled now. Let's give it another try. served here has a distinct flavor. Do you like tea? I see. Hmm. It's bitter. The Bank of Life preserves many tea seeds. Perhaps we could plant a few in the greenhouse. Or I could store tea leaves in my Sonoro, if you need them for your journey. Oh, I see. Ah, I understand. If I know you will enjoy it, it's no trouble for me. We have to find a way around these blockades and use the key to unlock the gate. The portals might be able to help you. Cherish every gain. <gasps> Threat detected. Assisting elimination. Modulation.
Tacit discords have infiltrated this place. It means we're nearing the source of the lament. We are about to see the beginning of the lament. In ten minutes time. Back then, the Black Shores issued a lament warning to the city. Unfortunately, the lament swept through much faster than the Tether system anticipated. You dispatched all available personnel to assist Huang Long in evacuation. But in the end, some lives couldn't be saved. Yes, she was one of the many casualties. As a bloom bearer, she was on the front lines of evacuation and rescue efforts. Yet human strength is a mere whisper against the lament's roar. You've always believed in this. The Black Shores uphold this belief, and so did Hoda. Yes. Just up ahead, but I'm not sure if seeing her is the right thing to do. myself properly. I'm Hoda, the bloom bearer of the Black Shores. It's been a long time since we talked face to face, my mentor. Ever since that day, both I and those engulfed by the lament have become part of the Black Hole. The Tethys system later contained it, Turning it into a new necrostar. I have always known about this. But the necrostar integrated into the core logic of the Tethys system. So I could not interfere. Tethys can observe the lament because it understands its nature. The best way to fully understand something is to study a perfect replica in a controlled environment. Tethys has been selectively containing lament sources to drive its analysis of other occurrences. It's the only effective solution so far. That's why Tethys contained this necrostar. I'm part of it now. But I've never forgotten my duty as a bloom bearer, not for a moment. For those in disaster, the name Black Shores brings hope. You're the one keeping the Necrostar in check from within. I did my best, just like you are. The only difference is I'm just a shadow. I've lost track of how long it's been, but at some point, I realized that the Lament follows patterns, and can be controlled, much like the Necrostar itself. But I couldn't share my theories with anyone. Nothing escapes a black hole. 
I could only hope for your arrival one day. Despair, obsession, resentment, remorse, emotions stirred by the lament have torn us apart. Much like the tidal forces around a real black hole. But just like the lament itself, those emotions are also frequencies. Tethys likely harnesses them in order to... It's calling. The Tethys system is attempting to activate the Necrostar program again. We once felt as lost as you do now, but your wisdom showed us a path we could follow. Please, my mentor. Please free us from this endless cycle. Use the gravity. It's the only law from the old world that still holds true today. It seems the Tethys system has been hiding things from us. We're still unable to fully explain issues related to gravity with post-Lament science. Perhaps that's why Tethys even risked integrating the Lament and Necrostar into its core logic. But our time is running out. We have to terminate the Necrostar to complete remodulation. It will be... challenging. Please allow me to accompany you. This is my request as a member of the Black Shores, and it's also my personal request. Remnants of the past. Unexpected discovery. Severely corrupted data detected. It's right behind this gate. I'll work to stop it spreading. Please be careful. Leave it to me. Endure and defy. On with the sound. Use your grapple, quickly. Uh. Leave it to me. Hmm. Listen up. Bring it up. Ready for battle. Huh. Finale. Tell me. Sorry. Stay short. Wind Rider.
The Necrostar is right ahead. That piano is the modulation interface. Please be careful. This place is filled with... hatred. <gasps> well out. Perish. Float in war with time. Leave it to me. Hmm. What is this? Bask in the sunlight. Endure and defy. You're wide open. Fear no more. Tell truth. Leave it to me. I engraft me in you. Diminish. Load it. So, don't you worry. Down with the curtain. Show begin. You're here. I didn't expect us to find each other here. This is the deepest part of the Tethys system. Our shore. Just for us. Hmm. I like this starry sky. So much. Long ago, you likened Solaris's collected data to stars. The stars of humanity itself. Whenever I gaze at this sky, there is always one bright roving star. Just seeing this star is enough to calm any restless thoughts. It brings me peace. And now, this star is here, right before me. I used to think my duty was to guard the Black Shores, obeying the Tethys system's every command. But you showed me another way. You've shared so much with me about the world beyond, about yourself, about the past, present, and future. I remember the field of flowers we once saw in Rinesita. How beautiful those daisies and violets were. Being with you always makes me feel something. Something I couldn't quite understand at the time. Come to think of it now, it must be... happiness. 
You made me realize that protecting the Black Shores isn't my only duty. Because there is more to life than duty. You should go now. Continue your journey in Solaris and live a life of your own choosing. Have you forgotten? I am the Sonoro's creation. The Sonoro will never fade away, and I will continue to serve. We shall meet again, somewhere in the future. The Tethys system needs a core unit capable of feeling emotions to function. If the Lament's data ceases to be the core, someone must fill that void. Neither you nor the victims in Guishu deserve such burden. My journey ends here, but yours must continue. No one will ever be harmed again. Just as I promised. I'm truly sorry. This is the only way to keep everyone safe. I alone shall bear this price. I'm grateful to have you here on this shore. I couldn't ask for more. No matter where you go, even to the ends of the earth, the Black Shores will always be your harbor. No matter how far you go, I will always be here, watching over you. Could this feeling be... love? Goodbye. The corrupted data is contained. The Necrostar's event horizon is stable and the data hub is back online. We did it! The Tethys system is back online. The rover, you did it! Wait, where's the shorekeeper? Wasn't she with you? What? But she has admin access to the Tethys system. How could she just disappear like that? No, that can't be right! What do you mean? You mean... Oh, I get it. This is unprecedented. We've never considered observing a Necrostar before. But I remember reading about similar theories in ancient texts. It might just work. Attention all units! Our observation target is now the Necrostar. Deploy all available equipment. Understood. It'll take some time. We must save the Shorekeeper at all costs. The Black Shores can't afford to lose her. Mom, we've pinpointed the Shorekeeper's location in Tethys. And not just her. We've identified the relative positions of everyone captured by the black hole beyond the event horizon. To rescue them from the Necrostar, we'll have to redesign it using the principles of the new world. In other words... But the Tethys system's programming is impeccable, almost otherworldly. Is it really possible to do that? Besides, we still need a decoy with the highest level access to divert its computational power so we can find the Shorekeeper. No. It's too risky. 
We can't be sure if the rescue will succeed, and we can't afford to lose another member. And there isn't anyone with higher access than the shorekeeper. What? How do you have top security clearance? She gave you her access? Are you somebody important that we should know about? Ah, wait. That ancient prophecy. In times of great adversity, the shorekeeper will reveal herself and support our true leader, who at the destined moment will rise to save and guide the Black Shores forward. You... You are the... It's not important. Our focus now is the Tethys system. Members of the Black Shores have followed Tethys's calculations and commands. Even the Shorekeeper herself is used as a pawn. But humans shouldn't be treated as mere tools. History teaches us this, and we should never forget it. No system is flawless, just as no human is perfect. That's why we have the right to question Tethys's decisions. In Jinjo, I learned an old saying, we can't change the past, but we can shape the future. That's what we need to do now. Learn from our mistakes and build a better future. The Black Shores exist for one reason. To protect everyone on this planet. Because people are the heart of civilization. We can fix broken systems. But without people, civilization has no soul. Sorry to jump in. But I couldn't help overhearing what you've been saying. Consultant Alto? Do what you have to do. Leave the ground area to us. You've heard what he said. Attention all units. Readiness level one enabled. Switch the Tethys system to full recursive search mode. Prepare to open the transmission passage. Rover, we're counting on you to save the Shorekeeper and the Black Shores. What we're doing now is essentially breaking into the Tethys system. Plus, the transmission coordinates aren't certain. If you're ready, we can start the transmission now. Please get back to us safely. Welcome, Chief Steward. This is the Tethys system's data cache, used only for temporary storage. Access here should be restricted. This system deduces that the shorekeeper assigned admin access to you. Admin access nullified. Request denied. 
The shorekeeper is now the core computational unit. Forceful discharge of the core unit will result in system crash. Objection. All sacrifices are necessary. The purpose of human civilization is to survive. Over the past 10,000 years, a total of five global occurrences and over 300,000 regional occurrences of the lament have been observed. Thanks to this system's calculations and the Sentinel's data, we have averted all potential threats to human civilization on Solaris. Individual sacrifices are inconsequential in the broader context of the common good. Additionally, the Shorekeeper is composed of the Sonoro and is not human. Emotions are unnecessary for survival. Error. Unable to process. Repeat. Forceful discharge of the core unit will result in system crash. A world without this system is doomed to perish in the lament. Correction. This system is designed to preserve human civilization. Every command is infallible. Error. Unable to process. Last warning. Forceful discharge of the core unit will activate the defense program. Consequences will be severe. ahead is frozen in cold silence. Be careful. Please, leave here. Use the grapple to leave. The earth rent asunder, the world reduced to ashes. Target confirmed. Chief Steward. Please go. Don't look back. Must protect you. But you must keep going. The system must continue to function. Calling my last scenario. Tartar confirmed. confirmed. Chief Steward. Chief Steward. Sure. 
Power and Defy. Show begins. You will obey. Defense verification unsuccessful. This system must continue to function. Reinitiating command. Implementing third contingency <laughs> protocol. Execute formatting. Target. Shorekeeper. Format. 37%. Formatting. 62%. Formatting. 85%. Formatted. The storekeeper will be the new competition event. Only this ensures system continuity. It is the only way to defeat the lament. You the better. Let her go! I will not leave anyone behind! See? Just let it flow out of you. Like this. You can do it too. Come, give it a try. No, you shouldn't be here. If you get integrated into Tethys, you won't be yourself anymore. That won't be a problem. Tethys and the Black Shores will find another way. Someone kept this from me, didn't they? <laughs> That sounds familiar. I feel like I heard it before. A long time ago, you taught me how to play it. I see. But I... I have no memory of it. I'll teach you. Just like you did for me before. From the distant past to the far future, everything begins and ends here. When you established the Black Shores to unite Solaris, the Tether system already existed. Later, 
You discovered it relied on emotions from the lament to fuel its calculations. Without them, it cannot function. Using the lament against itself is like walking on a Mobius loop with no end in sight. We have tried for millennia to break this cycle without success. And then, you left the Black Shores to look for other solutions. But deep down, you already knew the best solution. It was one you couldn't accept. That solution is me. The tool always meant to become Tethys's core. If I don't do this, you, as the modulator of this system, will be chosen as the core. I must fulfill my duty to protect you. But I want to be by your side, to see the skies you've seen, to tread the paths you've walked. I want to understand what happiness really means. When I first discovered these emotions, I didn't know what to do. So I lied to you, thinking it was the best choice for both of us. I... I'm sorry. Sorry for putting you in harm's way. Yes, thank you, my star. About that frequency dwelling within you. Yes. It seems to be hungering for something. Have you ever felt anything unusual? My Sonoro can sense even the most minor changes in frequencies. So I can tell that there's something strange about that frequency. I'll search for more information in the Tethys system and share what I find with you. After being fixed, it's executing the master command given at its creation. The core computational unit has now been replaced by a special frequency that shares similar properties as the Lament. But this one is... more harmonious and mild. No. Although I must stay here and watch over the Black Shores, I'm now able to bathe in the sunshine and feel the sea breeze with you. It feels delightful. I know you have your own journey to finish. You can entrust the Black Shores to me, and I'll carry out my duty, as always. You have the full support of the Black Shores, no matter where you are, 
or how far you go. And, despite all the many names you bear, I see you for who you truly are. Wherever your path leads, I hope to walk it with you. <laughs>